With a global population exceeding 8 billion people, everyone will, at some point, experience acne, whether it's on the scalp, armpits, chest, or buttocks. However, not everyone is familiar with all types of acne. To the naked eye, acne may not seem particularly alarming. It merely makes the skin less aesthetically pleasing. But when viewed under a microscope, acne reveals itself as terrifying clusters of bacteria, resembling scenes straight out of a horror movie. Today, we will take you on a journey to explore different types of acne, specifically facial acne, including hidden acne, inflammatory acne, blackheads, cystic acne, and the most frightening of all, boils under a microscope. We will observe all these types of acne from the naked eye to the microscopic level. The experiment was conducted under strictly controlled, safe conditions by experts. Do not attempt to replicate this at home under any circumstances. This is healthy, beautiful, smooth, even-toned and radiant skin, like that of a model. When viewed under a microscope, we can immediately see hair follicles, pores, and dead skin cells. But when this skin is not thoroughly cleansed, the pores turn into trash pits filled with dirt and millions of thriving bacteria, leading to hidden acne. To identify which bacteria are involved, let's examine them under a microscope. At 100 times magnification, we can see a large amount of sebum caused by excess oil and dead skin cells. At 400 times magnification, an uncountable population of Cutibacterium acnes. Bacteria is competing for food. Sebum, dead skin cells, and dirt accumulate, creating an ideal environment for bacteria to thrive causing internal skin damage without pain. This makes the skin rough and less smooth, which is difficult to detect with the naked eye. If not addressed promptly within two to three months, it can worsen, showing signs of swelling, redness, and pain. At this stage, it is no longer called hidden acne, but inflammatory acne. When examining inflammatory acne under a microscope at 100 times magnification, we can see a large amount of sebum, dead skin cells, and hair. Look closely. Do you see it? A multi-legged creature crawling and wriggling in the debris. Zooming in at 200x magnification, we can clearly see its eight legs vigorously sucking up the debris. At 400 times magnification, we observe blood cells mixed with millions of bacteria. White blood cells are hunting and destroying the bacteria, which are the primary cause of the inflammatory response and acne formation. Cutobacterium acnes thrives, releasing enzymes that break down lipids and trigger inflammation by activating pro-inflammatory cytokines. As a result, neutrophils are recruited to the infection site releasing enzymes and free radicals that lead to tissue necrosis, pus formation, and symptoms of swelling, redness, and pain. This is why squeezing inflammatory acne often results in blood. Next up is the formidable blackhead, which 100% of people have on their face. When zooming in, we first notice the blackhead's tip, about one millimeter in size. The core of the blackhead is actually sebum trapped in the pore, which oxidizes upon exposure to air and turns black. Under the microscope, we see a dark layer. This is the oxidized part of the blackhead, which is very hard. Below it are layers of white, unoxidized sebum containing a lot of dirt and a few hair strands. At 400 times magnification, we see a large number of bacteria, specifically Cutobacterium acnes. These bacteria invade the pores, causing blockages that prevent oil from escaping the skin's surface, leading to blackheads. However, if blackheads are improperly extracted, they can worsen, causing inflammation and potentially developing into cystic acne. 
Cystic acne is the most severe form of acne, destroying the skin's structure and causing pain and discomfort in the affected area. Cystic acne contains white or yellow pus and blood with a size typically larger than five millimeters. In the early stages, cystic acne may appear as a hard, non-headed nodule that is difficult to rupture, later becoming softer. This condition can lead to concerning complications, particularly depressed scars. Under the microscope, the core of cystic acne is not much different from inflammatory acne. The cause is the same. Sebum and dead skin cells clog pores, creating an environment for cutibacterium acnes to thrive, triggering the immune system, forming pus, and causing swelling, redness, and pain. Finally, we come to boils, the most dangerous type of acne. This is no longer just a cosmetic issue, but a serious skin infection. Boils typically appear as a painful, swollen lump that grows larger over time and can develop on any part of the body. Under the microscope at 100x magnification, the pus in a boil contains fine hair strands, sebum, yellow pus, formed during phagocytosis, and blood. At 400 times magnification, we can clearly see a large number of bacteria being hunted and destroyed by white blood cells. In severe cases, boils can lead to abscesses, sepsis, and even become life-threatening if not treated properly. When a boil appears, never attempt to squeeze it. Improper intervention can cause the bacteria to spread and penetrate deeper into the bloodstream. You need to see a dermatologist for safe treatment. Is there anything else on the body you'd like to examine under a microscope? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to like and follow for more videos decoding your body from the inside out.